Hi friends, Eric Asala here, your new gay best friend. Today we're going to be talking about the kind of newish Marvel things, the brushes, um, and the little baggie that it came, um, the little baggie that it came with, this thing. So the other day I went to, I saw it on Trend Moods page, right? So Marvel collaborated with Ulta with WandaVision and not gonna lie, Ulta's collabs are a little whack. Um, honestly trash. But uh, I just fell in love with WandaVision from the moment. So I was like, okay, I don't need anything. Eyeshadow palettes are trash, thank God. But here we are. Apparently I bought stuff. Um, I was at Ulta the other day looking just for the bag, right? The bag is stunning. Like, I mean, you can't really mess up a bag. That's like, are you kidding me? But I went to Ulta looking for the bag. I went to Ulta, nothing. They said, get out of here. It's not here. So I ended up leaving and then I went to another Ulta and I almost wanted to leave because the line for checkout was like ridiculously long. So I was like, I'm not doing this. So, but then I was walking around and then I saw the WandaVision stand and I was like, oh my God, where's the bag? Where's the bag? Shoving everything out of my way. And then I saw this. I saw two of these actually. I bought both because I was like, just in case something happens to one. But I ended up getting both. And then while I was there, I actually saw these brushes and I was like, well, at least let me get something that I can use that's like WandaVision esque. Everything else I want to say other than the brushes look garbage. It didn't look like anything was related. It was kind of whack. But you got these little five brushes. You have a flat concealer brush, which was one. You have a small eyeshadow brush, which was two. You have a dual fiber stippling brush, which was three. And then you have a larger eyeshadow brush. What? Large eyeshadow brush, which was four. And then the final one was like a powder brush, which was five. And where is it? Because it also the brushes came with like a little um, baggie. Let me see. Oh. So this is a little baggie that it comes in. But it has this like white fabric in it that I don't want to put the shadows in because I feel like it's going to get dirty. And I want to preserve it. A part of me is like, should I go and buy another one? But we'll see. Um... I already tested these um, shadows with, what, what am I saying? I don't know what I'm saying. Um, I already tested using these shadows. I already tested using these brushes. There you go. I already tested using these brushes and I have some thoughts. Let's just go in with each brush individually. Um, okay, so this one is the flat concealer brush. You can see it's got the little Wanda Scarlet Witch crown on it, which is pretty much the only reason I bought it. It's got this like weird dimensional thing, and this is what the brush looks like. Of course, it's been used. Flat. I think they're all synthetic fibers. And then, oh yeah. I didn't even explain what it does. Okay, so basically, I use this for concealer, just tapped it down. It worked pretty well. Um, I don't know if it was this brush in particular, or if it was another brush that was leaving little fibers on my face. I'm pretty sure it was this one, but that, that can easily be fixed just by washing them. I wanted to use them straight away. I had no time for jibber jabber. And then this one is the large eyeshadow brush. This one I did like. It kind of reminds me of my Morphe, um, Morphe brush that I really like using. Because you, for this kind of brush, it's like super useful because it's fluffy enough to blend out shadow, but it's like tight packed enough with enough bristles to 
pack product on. So this one was a good one. That one was good too. And then number three is going to be the small eyeshadow brush. This one was what I used for this look today. If you guys did want to see a tutorial of how I did this look, um, I did it on my TikTok. I'm just going to be doing cool looks on there. So definitely check it out. It's going to be E-R-I-C-Q-U-E-Z-A-D-A -E and the letter 8. So I do really like this brush. It's basically a mini version of the second one I just talked about. So there is that one. And then um, this one was kind of like a very interesting because I try to use only the five brushes for my whole face. It was pretty tough, not going to lie, not going to lie. But um, so originally I went in this to do my foundation, just light buffing, kind of like everything, you know. Um, I use this for my creams, so I use foundation, and then after my foundation, I use this for my contour today. So I added my cream contour here, and I kind of just stippled it. I did not brush, because I did not want to disrupt the foundation underneath. So that is what I also use it for. Um, so this is basically what I use for creams. Kind of just, and it really did seamlessly blend that contour out. So, kind of fire, kind of fire. And then the last brush we're going to be talking about is this. This is the Big Mama, the big brush. Um, at first, I was like, uh, I need more. But no, this is actually a really good brush. Um, I used it for the bronzer that I used. I went in with my bronzer. And then I, like, I would like patted this in the back and then just wiggled it a little. It did a really nice job. I don't know if that's the cream contour or the powder contour, but my complexion looks stunning. And then what I actually did, because it only came with like one big powder brush, I actually flipped it on the other side and I went in with my blush and I just packed it on here. I feel like I need a little more color though. Let's go in. And it was, the bristles are actually like really soft. Normally when I see these black type of bristles, especially synthetic, Mm -mm, game over. That stabs me. Um, something that did kind of hurt was the concealer brush. Actually did stab me, but because I was going like this, I have n I don't usually use concealer brushes like that, so I might have been using it wrong, but it did stab me if that's how you use your brush. Um, this one, I think it stabbed me a little bit. So I wish the bristles were softer on this, especially because it is a stippling brush, so, duh. So let me just show you a little demo of how I used it. So I honestly don't remember which side. Uh, I'm going to go into this middle pink shade, just light, and then I will just stamp it on. So this is how I used it. And this one is currently does not poke me and then if you want I use this for baking I use this for sweeping the only yeah. let's go heavy with that blush okay so yeah, I really love this brush. This was a killer. And then, what else? What else did we use? Yeah, so basically my final thoughts is I wish there was 10 brushes in this collection. And you may be asking yourself, Eric, gay best friend, why do you say that? The reason is because I wish there was more of a fluffy brush for highlighting. That's one. I wish there was an angled brush for brows. I love using a brow pencil for that. Uh, what else do I wish for? I wish... No, I used that. Oh my god, and I wish they came out with a sponge. I had to use my own sponge. That's something that I did end up using was the sponge. So I guess I wish they had seven, just a more fluffier brush, and then just an angled brush, because I feel like that would have killed it. Hmm. 
yeah guys so that's basically gonna be it for my review thank you so much for watching um okay that's it i'll talk to you guys later